don't know why I love clapping before I talk but anyway hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're new hi my name is Tato and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for coming back I really appreciate you so I'm back with another video and in this video I'm gonna do an updated get to know me tag um, because I feel like the last time I did it was a mess it's still here on my channel but I don't like the way it turned out so I put a sticker on Instagram and because I'm using my phone to film I took all the questions and I wrote them down I wrote the questions down just to you know because I use my phone and I film so I can't really go through the questions um, but yeah also I'm not gonna mention names like where they come from or whatever I'm just gonna be answering questions I have like 20 of them I know it's it, it seems like it's a lot but it really isn't so let's get into the video so the first one goes what is your english name wow guys <laughs> wow did you really have to ask me that my, my english name is gladys i don't like it i don't know why my parents especially my mom i don't know why she decided to give me that name i don't like it i feel like it's one of those names that uh people give to to help us if i may say so like gladys the baby has pooped you need to come and clean up after the baby i don't like that i don't like the name i don't like gladys i don't like it but yeah that's my english name um the second question goes how many kids do you have i only have one child at the moment and it's a boy i love him so so much i love my child okay the third question is when did you get married i got married in 20 in 2018 i was supposed to get married in 2017 but it didn't happen so it's whatever but i got married in 2018 how old are you i'm 25 i just turned 25 on like the 4th of may yeah i turned 25 so i'm 25 years old um another question goes please excuse the bobo bobo outside i'm filming can i go now it's five o'clock p.m so people are back from work and everyone just wants to cook so he will just make noise uh, i'm 25 years old um when is your birthday i just said it my birthday is on the 4th of may um what is your favorite color my favorite color honestly is black i love everything black i know i look like i'm a person who loves color like i love pink and uh, no, no, no. I love black anything that has to do with a black color it's me uh, do you have any pets no but I used to have pets I used to have a dog I used I used to have two dogs when I was still at home um, and they died unfortunately because I don't know what happened to them but they died and they used to have kids like they used to go to other dogs and do bad things and then come back pregnant and then have a lot of kids some of the kids would die oh my god it was a mess but I used to have a dog I used to have dogs um, what are the first three things on your bucket list so for this year oh okay the first one was to throw a birthday party for my baby and i ticked that um so now i'm left with me growing myself as a person in terms of me doing something that i like you know something that i love i know i love youtube i know i love 
helping people i know i love teaching people because me sitting here and talking to you guys it's it's honestly teaching something not really this specific video but me taking my time sitting down and either doing hair tutorial or doing a makeup tutorial honestly please excuse this is glue it's it's just me teaching someone something you know so growing myself as a person and also getting into business i want to get into a lot of things i want to sell a lot of things but everything beauty either hair or makeup or whatever you know so yeah i think throwing my son a birthday party growing myself as a person and getting into business those are the three things on my bucket list for this year um what is your favorite what is your biggest accomplishment so far hmm what have i achieved accomplished mm. for the fact that i have to think about it 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 really says a lot honestly i feel like i have not achieved or accomplished anything that i'm planning to you know i wanna i wanna grow man i wanna I want to be able to say for this month this is what I did not it could be money wise it could be literally as a person you know but honestly I want money I don't want to lie I want lots of money and I know I have to work hard for that money hence I'm trying to get into like different things I, I'm trying to approach brands you know to work with me i'm trying to approach people to to work with me i know i'm still small you know i'm still really small but i believe that me pushing myself i'll get the recognition that i need and i'll be able to to accomplish whatever that i'm i set my mind on basically um <laughs> are you happy today yes i am i'm always happy honestly the only thing that makes me sad especially during this month it's my mom's birthday so if you don't know i i lost my mom i think it's now going to yeah it's it's been 11 years okay on the 10th of june it'll be yeah 11 years wow so I lost my mom 11 years ago and honestly every time her birthday comes up I just get miserable but it's part of life and we move uh, what uh, what what areas of your life do you feel the best and why areas of my life that I feel best obviously having a baby and not having him out of wedlock honestly I, I told myself even when I was a child like the minute I started understanding having a kid and not being married not be able to provide for your child I told myself that I don't want that for my child I do not want to go through the typical you know typical black black what i do not want to to go through the same thing that a lot of people have went through you know i'm not making myself a better person or I'm not saying ah oh, i knew better no, 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 no. but i always told myself that i'm not gonna have a child before i have a husband i'm not gonna have a child before I could be able to take care of myself how do I bring someone on earth and not be able to take care of them you know so I, the best area of my life that I feel is best is having my child and a husband that is able to do anything and everything for us I'm really really grateful to God um, what does your ideal day look like ideal day it's me waking up next to my husband <laughs> having to see my child grow every day like 
it's just it i really don't have an ideal day mm -mm, i don't i'm not a person who loves going out you know being in people's faces no i love my space i love my space and i i found a husband who, who also loves being indoors who also loves his time and his space so <laughs> how do you often how do you often play sports i don't play sports i've never but in high school i used to sing before i moved to south africa i used to sing and then when i got this site i found that they only sing for clap and tap the school that i went to only sang for like clap and tap songs they didn't have where you sing your do mi fa sola and i was used to do mi fa sola tidos honestly and i used to be the best <laughs> so i used to sing i never played sports i've never i tried netball but they told me i was too short wow uh what happened to your teeth or were you born like that wow guys <laughs> but i i brought this to myself so there's a story behind uh this teeth ne? this tooth um i was not born like this honestly i was not born with uh an even teeth so when i was still in lesotho and i was still i was in grade i think i was in grade eight i had a friend she used to stay in the villages i used to, to stay in town what do you mean <laughs> so she used to stay in in the villages right um so this one time she came to school with a broken teeth and i asked her why or what happened to her teeth she was like no i was but i bumped into a tap you know those taps i don't know if you know them guys and i don't even know what they're called but it's one of those taps that you like literally this is how you you make water to come out used to what is water you know so apparently she i don't know what happened i forgot the story but i know that she was hit by that handle of 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 the tap so it broke her teeth so because we were friends i was like you're not gonna have that, that tooth alone i took an a clipper when i got home and then i clipped my <laughs> my tooth i broke it the worst decision that i've ever made i regret that every single day honestly i don't want to lie but when i start making money i'm gonna fix my teeth but i'm not i'm not really like I, I don't care honestly i know a lot of opportunities are not gonna come to me because when i smile you know but i don't care i love my teeth i love them the way they are but honestly when i have money i'm gonna fix my teeth okay okay another question goes uh what are you most grateful for i'm grateful for life i'm grateful for for life honestly i'm grateful for life guys covid has taught me that life is too short life is very very short and you being able to wake up in the morning you need to be grateful for that you need to praise god for that um you need to live your life in a way that the day god decides to take you you're gonna be able to answer for yourself you know i'm not saying you no know, i'm pure or whatever but i'm trying i'm trying i try to thank god for life as much as i can i try to thank god for every little thing that i have in life as much as i can you know so i'm grateful for life i'm grateful for my husband i'm grateful for my child i'm grateful for everything that's going right in my life and i couldn't ask for more <sighs> yeah 
I'm grateful for life. I really am. And the last question goes, how many kids do you want if you could add on top of the ones you have? I only have one child, I said. And honestly, my ideal number of kids is three because I feel like, how many three? Okay. This one, Ototella, obviously the first one, Ototella, because, duh. Then this one, Ototella, then this one is going to be a mediator between the two, or one. Like, whenever Zedi sold one, this one is going to come and say, no, guys, let's fix it, let's be okay, let's be all right, so, yeah. Um... So yeah, guys, that's basically it. Uh, those are the questions that I got from the sticker that I posted on Instagram. And now we're moving into the details for the giveaway. So for the giveaway, we only have three simple rules, right? You need to be subscribed to my channel. You need to be following me on Instagram. Then the last rule is that you need to send me your, a, a screenshot that you're following me on Instagram or on Facebook or on Twitter ne? and then you need to DM me let me just say that you need to DM me a screenshot that you're subscribed to my channel and then that you are following me either on Facebook or Instagram or Twitter you need to, to DM me that so that I can see that you're following me on those platforms and and then we'll take it from there and also look out for my stories on instagram i've decided that i'm gonna be giving away makeup yes guys thank you so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed uh this video and if there was any question that i did not answer that you'd like to know about me feel free to comment down below and don't forget to like subscribe and comment guys so I also wanted to add on top of uh, what I have said about the rules uh, to the giveaway. Um, you you should be interacting with me. Like you should at least be watching my videos. And I should always, not always, but I should, I should be able to see that you are an active follower of me. And yeah guys uh thank you so so much to a thousand subscribers guys you, you don't understand how much this means to me and um now i can officially say we're on the road to hashtag 2000 subscribers because we're sitting on 1.7 i think right now as i'm shooting this video and it's all because of you guys it's all because of you and thank you so so much this is why i'm doing this giveaway i just want to show you that i really appreciate you and i really see the love that i'm getting also the hate that i'm getting especially from that video that i did about me giving birth in a public hospital most people were like no nothing really happened to you you should listen to other people's stories and i'm like if i found what happened to me scary and i felt like i wanted to talk about it this is my platform and you shouldn't be coming here and telling me that it was not scary enough was i supposed to die in order for you to get that it was scary in order for you to feel that i felt it was unfair you know i felt like guys that 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 experience is stuck in my head and i also want to do because i'm a mom and in in the comments i also got moms asking me to to advise them on how to deal with that trauma because it really is trauma guys they were asking me to do a video on how i dealt with all of that so i need i need to gather my strength honestly because it takes a lot to to go back to a bad experience an experience that you feel you did not really have to go through you know 
so moms i got you i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do that video but i can't really say it's gonna be the next one after this one or it's gonna be the second one after no i'm just gonna gather my strength and honestly i'm gonna do it because i've seen that a lot of people struggle after giving birth especially if you have had like bad experience you tend to take out the anger and everything on the child which is not fair but that's not the purpose of this video anyway thank you so much guys for watching don't forget to like subscribe and comment down below on anything that you'd like me to talk about i will see you guys in my next video also my face beat guys can you just look at me Thank you. Bye. <laughs>